hey guys and welcome back so today as you've seen from the title of the video we will be discussing bail order format so the bail order format is very important for any mains exam because this is the kind of question which is asked in a lot of mains exam for judicial services so if you have any of the upcoming mains that you're going for for example mp you might be expecting to go for madhya pradesh mains exam or the gujarat upcoming mains either which case order writing formats are very important because they give you a differentiating factor everybody studies from the same books be it cpc be it crpc they all know the same case laws they all know the same law so if you write order format if you write it in a proper order it differentiates you from thousands of other candidates and it gives the examiner an idea that you're well prepared that you have idea about more than just bookish knowledge so it helps differentiate you from others therefore order writing formats are very important we have a detailed video and foundation course on the order writing format like we have a 40 minute video on it with all of the order formats that you might need for any means exam we've also done a video on temporary injunction order which was under the cpc realm and today we will be doing a bail order format which falls under the crpc realm so now you know why order writing formats are important how they differentiate you how they can get you extra marks and even one mark matters a lot so having said that let's get into the bail order format so on your screen you can see that the bail order format in this the question has been given on your screen that Sumit has been charged under section 356 and 379 of IPC for snatching the chain of a woman. He has been in judicial custody and the recovery has been made based on his confession. He moves a bail application, dispose this bail application with an order. So this is the kind of question you will get in your mains judicial services exam. Then you can see the answers also given on your screen. First of all, the name of the case is given state versus Sumit Kumar. And then you have to write present. So who's present? For example, Shri ABC, APP for state. The APP or the Assistant Public Prosecutor for state is always there. So you have to write APP for state. And then you have to also give that who's the advocate who's present for the opposite side for the defense. So Shri XYZ, that is advocate for the accused or the applicant. You can also mention one line that the accused is in judicial custody. Then you have to give the date. And then the order starts. In the first paragraph, you're only going to give the facts of the case. So over here, you can see that the order, this order of mine will finally dispose of bail application of the accused, Mr. Sumit Kumar, in FI, FIR number so and so. So you must give the FIR number or the complaint number or the case number. You must mention an FIR number 120-2017. Then you give a little bit of the facts saying he has been charged under section 356 and 379 of the IPC for allegedly snatching the chain of a woman. He has been in judicial custody. Based on his con confession, a discovery of gold chain has been made. Accused made the bail application and reply has been filed. So now you've given the basic facts of the case. What has happened so far? Who has filed the bail application? A reply has been filed. Then you move to what the arguments are in the case. So for example, over here you will say that the learned APP has argued that Sumit is at flight risk. And there is another case pending against him. This will depend on whatever the facts are given in your question paper. They will give whatever the state is contending. You have to present it here in the second paragraph. Then it says this makes him a threat to society and his bail application should be rejected. So this is the argument of the state that he is at flight risk. There is a case pending against him. He is a threat to society. He should not be given bail. So these are the arguments of the state. Then you move to the arguments of the accused. What, what do they say? Why should he get bail? So, so far, if you've seen, we've discussed in brief what is the FIR number, uh, under what section he's been charged, what the state says, and now we will discuss what the defense counsel says. So, the defense counsel says that the defense counsel has argued that the accused has been cooperative in the investigation and the discovery has already been made. He has family and roots in the village. He also argues that the other case is only pending against him and he has not been implicated in it. So the defense counsel has basically said that everything is done now. Discovery has been made. He's been cooperative. 
there is no flight risk he has family he has roots he won't just overnight disappear and if there is another case pending against him which state has mentioned then in that case also he's not been implicated is only pending against him so they're saying that let him go he's not a risk to society so both of the sides have given their arguments now and based on these arguments you will have to give an order in most probability the arguments of both sides in brief will be given in your question paper so read the question paper carefully whatever means you're going for you give the side of the app or the state and then you give the side what what is it that the, that the advocate for the accused is saying and both of these will be most probably given in your question paper so once you've given both of these sides then you come to your decision you say heard the arguments of both sides and the, this court is of the considered opinion that no further purpose will be served by keeping the accused in custody so this is on the current facts if in your question paper the accused is at very high flight risk or he's committed a very serious or grave offense or there's a chance that he will interfere with the investigation or he will threaten the witnesses then you will make the decision based on your facts this is just in case in these facts he is not a risk he is not a risk to the society and the discovery has been made so based on the current facts in front of us the order is being given so in this it is being said heard the arguments of both sides so my considered it is the considered opinion of this court that no further purpose will be served by keeping the accused it has been held by honorable supreme court in the state of up through cbi versus amar mani tripathi 2005 that the benefit of the society has to be weighed against the accused liberty so the basic thing in bail is that you don't have to go on the merits of the case you don't have to see what crime he has committed and whether he has committed it it only has to be on the merits of the application not on the merits of the case whether he's committed the offense or not so that is how you decide a bail application and you have to weigh both the parties interest whether the society is threatened by that person being released and whether that person should be released because they have a right to liberty so these have to be carefully weighed and you have to make a decision based on the facts of each case and whenever possible give a landmark supreme court judgment so that shows to the examiner that you understand the facts you know what the law is you know what the section is in which bail is given and you are applying that law to the facts of the current case so over here we've given the honor- honorable supreme court's decision and been saying that in this case the accused has family business and property in village he is not at flight risk the chain has already been recovered in discovery and the court is of the considered opinion that no benefit will come of keeping the accused in further custody the accused is ordered to be released on furnishing bail bond of rupees 15000 with one surety of like amount so whenever you release a person on bail you ask for a bail bond and surety and if if you are denying bail then you will write that the bail application has been rejected let the accused be remanded back in judicial custody whatever be the facts of the case then you will sign it and whatever the magistrate's court or district court that will also you will have to see in the question paper what is the crime and then in which schedule it falls and who can try that crime so that will be the court in which this crime will be tried so it can be a district court it can be judicial magistrate first class or it will depend on the facts of the case and then you also give the date and place this is overall how you write a bail order a bail order is very commonly asked in a lot of exams be it delhi be it mp be it gujarat bail temporary injunction these are the orders which are very commonly asked we've already done a temporary injunction order this is we've done a bail order now and we have a detailed 40 minute video in the foundation course on order writing formats it has all the order writing formats that you need how to write theoretical answers how to write judgments in criminal matters and civil matters how to write orders in civil matters and criminal matters how to write orders if you don't have enough time charge framing format so if you're going for any mains exam or you want to prepare yourself you want to give yourself an edge over others because most people don't know these formats so this is where you can really differentiate yourself from others if you want that you can check out the detailed video in the foundation course on order writing formats 
that video is available individually and also as a part of the foundation course in which you get six videos and four bonus content so 10 things in total in the foundation course or you can individually also get the answer writing formats video so today we have discussed the bail order formats whenever you're preparing for judicial service exam try and practice these as much as possible all these answer writing formats judgment writing formats this will really give you a differentiating factor it doesn't have to be too peculiar it doesn't have to be too particular but if you write that it really shows that you're ready to be a judicial officer we hope this helps and if you have any more questions feel free to ask in the comments if you have any requests feel free to ask make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified of new videos